Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. The siege of Port Hudson was the final engagement in the Union campaign to recapture the Mississippi River in the American Civil War. The small river port was located on an 80-foot bluff on the eastern bank above a hairpin turn in the Mississippi River, 25 miles upriver from Baton Rouge. The hills and ridges in the area of the town presented a rough terrain with deep ravines, swamps, and cane breaks, providing a natural fortress. Despite the arrival of a small railroad line in 1862, Port Hudson was economically tied to the Mississippi and was locally important for shipping cotton and sugar down the river. Despite its importance, the city consisted of a few buildings and a population of barely 200 people at the beginning of the war. Throughout 1862, Confederate forces fortified the town with a series of lunettes, redoubts, and trenches, and a number of pieces of artillery. In 1863, while General Grant was laying siege to Vicksburg, General Nathan Banks was ordered to capture the Confederate stronghold of Port Hudson. When his initial assault failed, Banks settled into a 48-day siege. A second attack also failed, and it was only after the fall of Vicksburg that the Confederate commander, General Franklin Gardner, surrendered the port. Port Hudson surrendered on this day, July 9, 1863, opening Union navigation on the Mississippi River from its source to the Gulf of Mexico. Four days later, Federal troops occupied Natchez. My name is Ray Pilgrim. I'm a former naval aviator and a volunteer in the National Park Service, and this has been a Natchez History Minute.